Okay, so now let's just set this new texture as the base color. Uh, what's it called? Trash low poly. Yeah. All right, let's go to render properties. Make sure we are in cycles. I'm going to go to GPU compute performance. 256 is good for my GTX 970. All right, let's go to bake down here. And all we want is the fuse, really. Don't need direct and indirect, just the color. Let's set selected to active. Now we're going to click on the high poly and then shift click on the low poly and hit bake. Okay, so blue and something didn't work out here. Good, now let's check out the low poly only. Okay, we're going to just go and remove specular. This seems to have worked pretty good. What? Now what's wrong with these? Okay, actually, to avoid overwriting this, I just reloaded this. Uh, let's go to the uh, shading. And high poly, low poly, high poly. Yeah, high poly needs an image node. So let's just add an image. Uh, the trash low poly here and make sure that this is selected. Maybe reduce to 8. Let's try with 1. Okay, now I'm going to select this. I mean, shift select. And uh, let's go for bake. Okay, so now it worked. Good. High poly gone. This one works. Okay, let's see. Yeah, everything is pretty much well done. Nice. Of course, we should definitely not forget to save the texture. This one. So let's go to image, save as, and save the image file. And save the file. And you know what, export as FBX. Here we go. All right, I hope this was useful.